so what we got here, we just did the light bulb test. Um, now we're gonna go, we're gonna go back and do the meter test. And I'm gonna start out with the sign tamer. And I, what's very interesting is when you plug in the different meters, plug in meters like GS, DS, GS, Delta, et cetera uh, meters, Sometimes it doesn't go down very much, but the sign tamer does a good job on this on this spectrum analyzer here. <coughs> does a good job eliminating those higher frequencies here. But we do know the DNA does a little bit better job. I'll unplug this here. Plug this back in here. Okay, that definitely cleaned up a little bit more. But I want to get back to my little another experiment. So this is something that I think is very important that building biologists realize is you can't go by what your meters say on these guys here. You have to use a spectrum analyzer because it's not exactly accurate. So plug this in. So it's 120 millivolts worth of uh, dirt electricity here. Then if I take the sign hammer, even though it does a good job over here, it does a good job over here, but this only dropped maybe 20 millivolts. So you would say, oh, this is not very effective, but I'm telling you, this is more effective than you think. And you see it over here on the spectrum analyzer. Now, if I take the DNA filter, and yeah, it does a really good job on 27. So if there's one filter to buy, from a budget standpoint, it'd be that one. And then you could buy two, because now you're gonna go a little bit better. Probably not necessarily needed, but you do get a free, um, a class three surge protector with this one right here. Okay, all right, that's it.